Fort Sphinx Moth is located in the Reaper's Marsh of Anaquina in Aliswere, just north of Dune. Built by the Second Empire, it was meant to protect the Aliswere Valenwood border due to constant Khajiiti Basmiri tribal conflicts. It was built alongside mountains considered impenetrable and impregnable, and has long stood as a beacon for the Empire. Inside, it's rigged with several traps in case the defenses were breached. However, during the time under the Empire, this did not happen. It was so defensible that it never fell to a conquest, and was only captured by another force when it was abandoned by the Empire during its collapse. From there, it constantly switched sides in a never-ending Khajiiti Basmiri tribal conflict, and the fort was left in a desolate state, looted and in disrepair. Eventually, a landslide forced its occupants to leave and nature reclaimed the land. When this landslide happened though, it's unknown which of the two sides held the fort. Eventually, the only thing to inhabit the fort were crocodiles, and that was really all that was livable in the swampy ruin. And later, a large gang known as the Murkwater Bandits began to operate under the former Imperial Fort. They were led by a captain named Achillea, and they renamed themselves the Sphinx Moth Bandits, and they began to refurbish the disrepaired fort. In 582 of the Second Era, they raided the Temple of Mara in Braville at the behest of the Stonefire Cult to steal an uh, artifact or relic known as the Chalice of Mara. However, all this did was lead to the Aldmeri Dominion noticing the bandits. Many temple guards and priests tracked down the bandits only to be discovered dead at the hands of those said bandits by, the by an agent of the Dominion. This agent would then lead a group, or whether they were by themselves or not, we don't really know, to then attack the bandits and basically wipe them all out. Captain Achillea was killed in this process, and once more the fort was abandoned. When the Third Empire rose during the Tiber Wars, the Legion reoccupied the fort. It served as an imperial bastion in the province, but remained neutral in the five-year war that occurred in 396 of the Third Era between the Kashit and the Bosmer. During this conflict, a soldier named Codus Calonius wrote a lot about, this, about the Kashit after witnessing a major battle that occurred out just outside the fort. The battle itself re resulted in a Khajiit victory, which ultimately led to a Khajiit victory in the war, but one of these books still exists up until 201 of the Fourth Era, known as, quote, Mixed Unit Tactics, end quote. When the coup in Elisware saw the province split in two, Fort Sphinx Moth was abandoned by the Empire once more, or it was, they were kicked out, we really don't know. But it's ultimately assumed, since the Empire is no longer active in Anaquina, that the Empire no longer holds the fort. That being said, though, it was likely reoccupied by the Kingdom of Anaquina as Elisware split into two, Anaquina and Palatine. And I would assume that the Khajiit in the north would reoccupy the fort because it's an incredibly defensible position between not just Valenwood, but also Cyrodiil, which the Dominion at the time are hostile against, and the Anaquina and Palatine are both client kingdoms of the Dominion. But that is all we have today, guys. So I hope you all enjoy. I'm sorry this is a day late. This is also a little note for me after I've already done this. Uh, I lost power, or not lost power, I lost internet and I wasn't able to um, upload the video when I wanted to. So I finally got it back after I got off of work. So sorry about the late video again, but I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace. If you enjoyed, please like this video because it really lets me know you're enjoying this content. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. The links are right here for you to click on, and the Discord chat link is right here as well. And overall, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.